Okay, to uh, start part two off here, uh, we had disassembled the, uh, the Kato engine and we're going to get ready to go over and uh, get the milling work done. Uh, he gave me a call and let's go over and see David. So here's the uh, frame in the milling machine and David is uh, kind enough to help me out to get this in there. We actually found the frame to be off one side a little bit, possibly wider than the other. So We also moved the hole back a little bit farther. Uh, Okay, we have the final uh, hole milled. What we're actually going to do is we're going to put a quarter inch in, uh, milling bit in and we're going to machine back just a little bit so we can get the wires out uh, a little bit easier. Now we almost thought that that 150 thousandths was going to come break through where the fuel tank is, but it just misses. So uh, there is enough metal there to do it. And, um, here we have, uh, we've got the half inch hole done. We're going to take yeah, a quarter inch and go forward just slightly with it to uh, make it easier to get the wires out. May have to use a Dremel tool to touch things up a little bit. Okay, here we have the uh, final product. We, we took a 3 8 inch uh, after we did put the half inch hole in. I put a 3 8 in and we moved it forward about 50 thousandths just to give enough to uh, get the wires out for the speaker a little more easy. And here's another one of uh, David's creations. So anyway. Okay, back to the train stuff. Okay, I've uh, done a couple things before I really do a final cleaning on this to make sure I have all the chips out. Uh, I've taken a file and deburred these holes up here just cut and make sure I don't have any rough edges and I uh, drew a line where I'm going to run my wires down. Now I can see I did move my speaker back a bit because I wanted to make sure uh, that here in the gas tank there's little spacers in there uh, that uh, go in there and I wanted to make sure I had enough room so I didn't move mine out. Once again we oblong this hole in the, in the actually the rear of the frame just a little bit so that these wires can can get out. I drew the line there, which I'm going to take a grinder to and grind that out, and then I'm going to run the wires up over here on this uh, this side right here. So uh, I'm going to take the die grinder, a little uh, Dremel tool, and do that. Uh, speaker, I've taken and put a couple layers, uh, two layers of kept on tape on it, and I'm going to trim that up. So uh, once we get it cut out. We will uh, start putting it, uh, do the reassemble. But, uh, once again, here is the hole that's, that's been machined. After doing this, I'm kind of wondering if we used a half inch milling piece in here. I wonder if they didn't make one for uh, $13, uh, for a 13 millimeter. Uh, they aren't that expensive, uh, about $25 for the, uh, the cutting tool. To, uh, to do that with. So uh, it's got a half inch shank on it. It'd work real fine in a half inch drill press uh, if you take it nice, slow, and easy. So, anyway, we'll go uh, cut the grooves in this and be right back. Okay, I uh, just got done uh, with the Dremel tool and cut the uh, line here. I tried, I, I tried to darken it up a little bit so you can, uh, so you can see that. And uh, that went up there, up the side. I turn it over here. Um, you can see uh, where the hole's been machined. Oh, sure, if I get over here. Uh, on the inside, took the Dremel tool and cut a line. I, I took a little black pen and ran it there so you could see it, but uh, that's probably 30 thousandths, 35 thousandths deep, plenty of room for the wires to go. And once again, uh, uh, we're in the mill, say a half inch hole, and then I took it. We put a 3 8 inch uh, cut.
cutting bit in there and kind of moved it forward a little bit just to give enough room for those wires to get out. So I uh, also took and chamfered the edge right there so the wires can go around. After I cut it with a disc, um, I used the uh, little wire wheel on it and kind of smoothed to make sure there wasn't, wasn't any burrs. Then on this side, once it gets out, the wire will come out, come up this side here, and then go up this side. So, okay, we'll get ready and uh, put this back together. So here's the uh, speaker. Uh, we put a little capped on tape on the back side of it to make sure that that was not uh, going to touch any metal parts. And uh, we'll start to install that. The uh, half of the frame that we cut the grooves in and I put the kept on tape there to hold the wires uh, hold the speaker while we uh, put the mechanism motor and uh, drive shafts back in and truck so um, ran my finger across that and it is uh, smooth so we'll kind of continue on from there well I found out that uh, the motor will only fits in there one way so uh, you'll be able to see the slots that it kind of goes into um, when you put the drive shafts in though make sure that these are down correct this uh, the support here for the worm gears they do have a habit of going in uh, 45 degrees off so there and there just make sure those are down so now we're ready to uh, take this and we'll turn it over and see if we can uh, get everything to uh, to go together uh, I've got the two halves back together and getting the trucks back in I found I need to put the screws back in and just barely get them started that'll leave it separated just enough to get the truck down in there and then you can tighten the screw up we'll go from there uh, and while I've got it here here is uh, the cover that will go the fuel tank cover that will go back on I put a couple of holes in here so that's uh, ready to go on next uh, also um, and in here you can see the uh, the little dividers <clears throat> and that's that's why I moved the speaker back um, that's why I moved the speaker back a little way so I made sure I had the in there to kind of keep the isolation and hold everything tight and I wouldn't have to trim any of that out so uh, there is a front there is a front and a rear uh, here you can uh, see the cutout on the front of part of it, the back side, there is no, uh, there is no cutout there. So, Okay, next step. Now that we've got the trucks back on, you can see uh, the wires coming out here. If we lay that over, they're going to follow that groove right up there. We'll put some capped on tape over that and we'll be ready to reinstall our board. Uh, and we'll get the fuel tank cover uh, back on. Okay, and I've installed the uh, capped on tape uh, to hold the uh, wires in place up here. And we'll need to uh, put a little tape up in here to isolate the board. We've got the board installed and solder some wires in. We'll see how we do. Okay, we've uh, installed the capped on tape on the uh, locomotive, slid the board in place. And we just have to uh, hook up the speaker wires now and find a place to put the capacitor. And we'll probably test it before we put the body back on. So, stand by. Okay, now uh, we have everything back together. The board's in. Make sure you put the uh, rails, copper rails back in there. We've got uh, speaker wiring up and connected. Just have to mount this. I do want to put it on the track and test it real quick first and uh, just to make sure everything's going to run okay. We've got everything hooked up correctly. All right. Uh, give it a try here. Let me see here. Headlight works off and on. And reverse. Fired the engine up. Sounds good. I maybe thought, uh, and I've got it up at the upper level, uh, a volume maxed out. I thought it'd be maybe a little bit louder, but it's got good. Uh, OK, 
Okay, we've got the uh, body shell back on. Uh, couplers uh, align up correctly, so that's good news. And uh, let's see if what uh, um, so once again you just kind of give it a one, and uh, the engine fires up. Little headlights there. There we go. Uh, I will say with the body shell on, it does sound a little bit, uh, a little bit louder. So that's good. It's got nice tone. I do have the volume all the way up. So there you go. One completed job. And it's been uh, fun, uh, fun doing that. Uh, turn that off. Let me see what else. Uh, Some of the other tones. I do have the setup for the Evo, so uh, uh, the other uh, sound that's on the board is the uh, SD40-2. So, anyway, it's done. Looks great. We'll take it for a quick spin around the uh, around the layout.